Hey guys, Buffy CS here and welcome to my Elite Dangerous series of quickfire tutorials. Everyone, and I mean everyone, at some point has missed turning away from the star when entering a system from a jump. There are many reasons for it to happen, from distractions to falling asleep to hardware failures such as the joystick becomes unplugged or just stops responding. Here is how a pro will avoid taking any more heat damage than absolutely necessary when leaving the star. First thing, look at the front cover of your Hitchhiker's Guide and read the words DON'T PANIC which are inscribed on it in large friendly letters. Set your throttle to zero. Now you have all the time in the solar system and you should see your temperature starting to drop. Next, we want to align to our escape vector. To do this, we want to point directly away from the star. The easiest way to do this is to target it and use our compass. To target the star, we can easily select it from menu 1 under navigation. It will appear at the top, it will be the first item, as it's closest to us. Select it and lock target. Once locked, we can look to our compass and we can turn until the dot becomes hollow and is centred. Now we can reduce our ship's base heat level. The base heat level should be considered the amount of heat it produces when idling. If we attempt to load the frameshift drive with our normal base heat level, our ship will take damage due to overheating. Every system on our ship consumes power and produces heat. We want to disable as many of these as we can, thus lowering our base heat level. To disable modules, you'll need to go into menu 4 and then select the modules tab. The systems that you want to keep powered up, note don't shut these ones down. You want to keep thrusters alive, you want to keep the life support alive, you want to keep your frameshift drive alive, you want to keep your power plant live and your cockpit canopy. The rest can be disabled. Once disabled, we can throttle up and engage our frameshift drive. We will see the heat climb as the frameshift drive produces a lot of heat during its warm up. Once we engage supercruise and start moving away from the star, you see the temperature start to drop. After we see this temperature drop, we can be confident that we are no longer in heat danger. We can throttle back and we can enable all our modules again. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching. I plan on creating many more of these short tutorials on every subject that people may find difficult and elite dangerous. If you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe.